So this book is about Pinka Pal, and it's really, really cute. Hey y'all, it's Terrell. It's Terrella from YokiBee.com. Welcome to my channel where I share crochet and knitting patterns and tutorials, as well as finished projects and other fun fiber things. If those sound like things that you'd be interested in, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and follow along with me. Today I'm sharing my latest Pika Pow project. So if you guys caught my last video, I shared all of my current, or at least most of my current works in progress. I have not even started this cheetah at this point, which I think is so funny. But this I can add to my completed projects and it's always motivation to finish a project when it's a gift for someone, especially a baby. If you have not seen this Animal Friends of Pika Pow book or checked out the new book, there's actually a second version of this that I do not have yet and I really want to get. I will link this book down below and also the second book in the series. She just has the cutest Amigurumi projects in here. I love them so much. This is the fourth one that I've made. I've made two of the gazelles and I'm starting a third. And then I made the alpaca. And today I'm gonna share with you guys the cheetah! So in the book, this one's actually called Rosa Cheetah. And so this is a boy because it's going to a little baby boy. So we need to think of a name for him. So if you guys have a suggestion, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'm sure in his new home, he will have a fun name, but I really wanted to make a boy for him. So I just changed up a couple things. in this book that I have made so far have been really easy to follow. Like I said, I've made two gazelles and am now on my third gazelle. <laughs> my daughter said the other day that she wanted a gazelle and I was like, let's pick a different animal because I've made so many gazelles. I think I want a few of them. I want mommy to make this, and this, and this, and this. It's so fun to see each new animal come to life. I was excited to make this little cheetah just because I wanted to make something new. Now the body style is very similar to the alpaca, but of course the embroidery and things are different for him. And I realized that most cheetahs are not brown. I wanted to use the same soft fudge color from Paintbox Yarns for him as well so that I used up all the yarn that I purchased. Here's just a quick yarn haul from Lovecrafts for you guys. I love using Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK for these Amigurumi projects. I used them for the first time when I made my very first Pika Pal Audrey Gazelle. And these are the yarns I got, this blush pink, this soft fudge, which I am super in love with, coffee bean, champagne white, dolphin blue, I use those for the overalls, and then slate gray. There are so many awesome paint box yarn colors to choose from. I know I will be using them so much more in the future and I can't wait to try even more of the colors. I think it worked out pretty well and I think with the little black embroidery details, it just, it all worked out pretty well. As you can see, there is a dark brown in there as well and I did purchase that for the spots in the beginning. But I didn't think it was enough contrast for him so I just added in the black also. The black is just black kerthate. The black is just black kerthate. 
So the black is just black crochet. <laughs> so the black is just black crochet thread. And I also use that for the eyes. I did actually make a video for my first alpaca that I ever made. If you'd like to check that out, I will put that up here and a link down below. But I do not have a craft store like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels anywhere near me. I do have like an old fashioned pharmacy that's near me that sells like lots of different things and they might have some safety eyes but i've not actually seen any there so i decided to just embroider these eyes as well and i really like the way it turned out I did try on one of the gazelles, kind of a rounder. I did kind of like a crochet ball and just attach that. But I think overall, I like these little embroidered eyes the best. And they are ultimate safety eyes because obviously they're not going anywhere. So that is kind of fun too. And you just have to kind of play around with the shape just to get a good round shape to them. But I just really like the way they turned out. So in the book, this is actually a girl cheetah and her name is Rosa Cheetah, but this was for a baby boy. So I wanted to make him a boy and make give him a little boy outfit. In the book, Rosa has a little overall dress that's super cute. So I just wanted to try to make him some overalls and I was super excited that they worked out. I made a little hole for his tail here. I was really excited with how they turned out. I used the pattern in the book for the dress kind of as a starting point and then I just added in the legs and, and I used a similar pattern just for the little front panel and the straps. I also added little stripes to his shirt because these are the colors that I had on hand. So I thought it was kind of fun to give him a striped shirt. to make and I'm super excited to send him off and give him to the new baby. So as you can see here, there are just so many adorable animals. I cannot wait to make even more of them and even get the new book and make some of those. My daughter goes back and forth about the one she wants me to make her next. I did make my daughter the alpaca, but she changes her mind pretty much every day about which one she wants to make. So I will let her tell you about her choices for her next Pika Pow animal. So, I, so I'm going to talk about um, this. So I don't know which one I want to pick, but it's up to, it's up to me to find one that I really want. This video, I'm going to show you how much I really love stuffed animals. I really love stuffed animals, and I have a whole crib of stuffed animals. That's why I love stuffed animals. A whole crib of them. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about it. Okay. So this birdie I really, really love because it's really amazing. I, I like unicorns and, I, and, and also I've been wanting a unicorn for so long. I've been asking for one for Jesus, from Jesus. And also, I, I like this platypus, but I think I want a few of them, like six. No, not because I'm six. I like, I like everything to be six, like six sweet potatoes. And, six carrots and broccoli and nachos too and chips okay so let's start um this doggy's nice my likes this penguin like puff and rock oh i like this penguin i mean it's not a penguin it's a panda okay so i already have this pack of them mommy made oh a fox i always wanted a fox what I want, I want this cute little donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join me for all the fun crochet and knit things. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.